hello everybody today we are we will be understanding circles and the angles of the circles we have to understand few things first as discussed earlier circle is a set of points which are placed in such a manner that they are equidistant from a fixed point now i have already told you that these points have a very crucial role in handling things for the circles right if i am taking these two points let's say a let's say b right then ab is a chord this o is a center then if i join ao and then i join ob there is an angle right now this angle angle aob is called as angle subtended by chord ab at center you have to understand this thing that these two points are making the things happen as a line is passing through this point and going to the center and then from center going to this point so if i call angle subtended by chord ab at center or i say angle subtended by arc ab at center it would mean the same thing because angle is subtended by the two points and these two points i am referring as from chord point of view or i am referring from arc point of view it won't mean different things right now if i talk about this angle this angle if this angle is x degree then this angle will be 360 minus x degree right now what about this angle is this angle subtended by any arc or any chord this angle is subtended by arc ba you have to understand this thing that line segment ab and line segment ba means same but when we are talking about circle arc ab and arc ba does not mean same because in mathematics we always take things anti clock wisely we always take things anti clock wisely so we need to be very careful while speaking out the words in mathematics if i'm talking about angle subtended at center from arc B ba that means i am talking about this arc and you can easily understand that this arc is a bigger arc and eventually subtending bigger angle at center are you getting my point so and so what we call this angle this angle is more than 180 degree therefore we will call this angle as reflex of angle aob this is angle subtended by arc ba i hope i am clear with my point so far please copy it down by pausing the video right now there are certain things which you must understand while talking about circles very carefully understand this thing there is a point a and there is a point b i am taking these two points and they are subtending this angle at center as i told you earlier that what is playing the major role major role has been played by these two points major role has been played by these two points 
therefore we must understand one thing angle subtended by arc ab at center and angle subtended by arc ab at the back side this angle will be exactly half of this angle if you are taking two points as they are making 40 degree at the center then they will be making 20 degree at the top right why this thing is happening why this thing is happening and this thing happens every time every now and then you can do it by strictly making a circle with the compass see if I'm talking about these two points this angle and this angle right so in my last statement I wanted to say that this angle is half of this angle let me prove it if I join this then this is center and this is one of the points lying on the circle and since it is lying on the circle we can easily say that this point must have been laid down in lieu of key. the distance between this point and this point distance between, distance between this point and this point will be same as the radius you can understand that and since O C A is an isosceles triangle therefore this angle will be equal to this angle let it be y degree let it be y degree and being exterior angle this must be equal to y plus y 2 y degree similarly I don't know the measure of these two angles but these two angles will be equal because triangle OBC is an isosceles triangle as well and in order to have this thing as exterior angle it will be given by 2x degree now if you talk about this angle this angle is given by x plus y and this angle is given by 2x plus 2y that means 2 times x plus y so I am handling algebra as of now and I am getting twice the number here as compared to the number here I hope I am clear with my point let me draw a bigger figure this point and this point A, B this is center If I am joining this point, this is equal to this, therefore this angle will be equal to this angle and eventually this angle will be exterior angle, this angle will be equal to this angle, therefore this angle will be exterior angle. So you can sense that we have got 2 y plus 2 x over here that is 2 times y plus x whereas this angle is simply y plus x when I'm talking about algebra that means it will be suitable for each and every value that may exist so a theorem sustains here angle subtended by an arc at center is twice the angle subtended by it at any other point on circle the most important word is other here other because if I'm talking about this arc then for this arc other is this arc right so it would have been this 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 it should touch the circle but should be in this arc rather than this arc we have to be very particular about it if i talk about this arc ki this is angle 7 by arc ab no 
for this center these are the considerations but this is not a consideration i hope i'm clear with my point take care